DM073 Gaming is brought to you by Happy Little Hug Factory. If you're looking for pre-orders of the upcoming sets, including singles or booster boxes of previous sets that have come out, you can check the link down below. Happy Little Hug Factory also has a buy list for Force of Wills, so you can get rid of those extra cards you have laying around and turn it into new upcoming product. Thanks so much, guys. Check them out and enjoy the video. Hey there everyone, DMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the Red, White, Black, Gil Lapis 2 control list that you saw played earlier this week um, by Jason. So let's go ahead and just dig in. It's just kind of an updated take on this whole idea of you use Gil Lapis, you remove a bunch of stuff, you stick a barrier seal, and then you kind of use your opponent's cards against them. So it's just kind of been updated a little bit from the old school style. Um, nothing really like gameplay strategy wise that's any different, just kind of looking at the updated list. So obviously Gil Lapis is our ruler, judgments for eight, um, but can minimally judgment for two. If you have six cards in your opponent's RFG area, you know, it gets cheaper the more you have removed. Energizes for black or red, and then zero if a card your opponent controls, specifically a non-magic stone card your opponent controls, would be put into a graveyard this turn, you remove it from the game instead. And you can only do it during your turn and only once per turn. So you kind of target something, kill it, and remove it um, to kind of fuel his other side, Rebel of Darkest Fires which is a 10-10, uh, can recycle cards from your opponent's RFT to the bottom of their deck to give himself swiftness, precision, flying, or first strike. You can do that multiple times in a row. You can pay X to put a target card from your opponent. Um, so it used to be that you could just pay the X and then you can kind of cast anything you want at when you needed to, um, to be able to use his effect. But it's actually kind of been changed in the way it works is that you pay X and you target a card in your opponent's RFG casting that card right then um so and then you get to play that card for free uh and then you can pay one red and one black just recycle two cards from your opponent's rfg uh, to the bottom of their deck and destroy target resonator so he's kind of your finisher obviously uh and he can you know even if you're at a thousand life just pop two cards down to the bottom swiftness flying you're dead um so interesting kind of way to finish the game off don't we need four of them in the main deck? Going into the stones real quick, we play three Heaven's Rift, four Eve on Home, because it is his primary color, and three Heat Ray. This way we have uh, seven red sources, uh, seven darkness sources, and uh, six light sources to kind of balance the colors. So in Yarlathotep, the Crimson Radiance is a two drop seven seven, has limit one, so when it attacks or blocks, you're gonna remove that limit counter, and then at the end of the turn, if there's no limit counters on it, it bounces back to your hand. Awakens for white to remove target resonator from the game, um, which comes back when Yarlathotep gets removed, or awakening for red, which lets you pay a light or fire chant with total cost three or less from your hand without paying its cost. Um, so the interesting thing would be here, like you can kind of kick it to be like a three drop, right? Three drop seven, seven, and then you can cast a three, you know, a three cost or less chant from your hand to kind of instantly, um, for free, right? So that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, you get kind of some tempo plays while also putting a body on board. Gil Lapis, Usurper of Maddening Power, used as a consistency engine to be able to grab those one drops. Um, you know, things like Flourishing Hope, Separation of Fates, Thought Control, all kinds of stuff. A Riula to be able to potentially heal Gil Lapis if he dies. Valentina, the Twilight Passion, as another aggressor, um, as well as being able to serve as a kind of helps fuel the RFG for Gil Lapis a little bit. Two Blazer, Finisher of Flame, per Prisoner of Flame, again, a little flying finisher that can kind of be recurred a little bit, provided you don't um, you keep it in graveyard rather than removing your own graveyard. Three Flourishing Hope, Burgeoning Despair. It's in color. It serves great as a protector. It trades up and it can be, you know, help sack creatures from your opponent's side of the field. Um, Jason was playing it a little bit greedily, I think. Um, primarily, I think you should try to stick to using this as a making one of your own guys unkillable, blocking something, and then making them sack stuff. Um, but, you know, in the moment, it worked out for him okay. Two Separation of Fates to be able to kind of deal with troublesome cards and then cycle through your abilities a little bit, or cycle through your deck a little bit. Two Thought Control for some peeking. Two Heteroclites for some hard removal. Three Final Battle for the board wipes. It's searchable with um, the Gilapuses, which is great. Two Unending Hatreds, so you can kind of destroy all resonators, look at your opponent's hand, pick a card and RFG it, lots of different options for him. Two Lumia's Judgment, again, to kind of um, RFG both sides of the field, kind of like wipe it and hopefully fuel Gil Lapis pretty well. Three Barrier Seal to make the graveyards suddenly get exiled and everything that goes there gets exiled. The whole point to be you fuel Gil Lapis very heavily this way. 
free release so that you can recycle your own cards that have been removed, three Crimson Ray for some spot removal and life gain, a zero circle of protection so that you can stick this um, while Gilapis is on the field um, and kind of make sure that he doesn't get killed, and then as a final kind of finisher, because you are kind of a control deck, if you need to close out the game, a couple of Schrodinger's observations. Because um, it's in color, gains you some life, can be used to kill resonators, but also at the same time can be used to just finish the game. So there you have it. That is the updated Gilapis 2 list. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, come back again tomorrow for the next track profile. And until next time, this is CMO73 signing off. Huge thanks to the patrons of the channel. You see their names here on the screen as well as down below in the description. They are what help make this channel run and help me do these awesome projects for you guys. If you feel like joining the channel and get access to all the cool perks that come with being a patron, click on the P on the screen or the link down below. Thanks so much. See you next time.